day guys another package this one is <clears throat> this is a uh, 10 pound package 10 pounds um, I thought I'd give it a try just to see what we get it might be a bunch of junk it might be a bunch of you know as small as the box is I'm assuming it's not coming in in the uh, bags and boards or anything that's fine I'll just bag and board the ones I think is good the rest I can just you know give away or something like that um, let's get the sucker open and see what we got I have no idea just random 10 pound bulk of, of comics apparently. so we shall see oh I cut the box and not the tape okay, okay. all right Emerald Blade wants to do whatever it wants. I just cut the box. Yeah, I could have easily cut the books because they're not protected at all. They're just stacked in there. Look at this. They're just stacked in there. No bags and boards, no nothing. I wasn't expecting anything fancy. Figuring for the price and for the amount of books, you know. Just 10 pounds, so what is this? A 12-issue maxi-series suggested for mature readers. Ooh. Yeah, look at that. It's like I thought. There would be some damage or something. No good for nothing. Uh, Sonic Disruptors. That's the name of the book. I have no idea. It's DC. No idea. I'm just going to set it down right here. Let me get rid of that. There. Get the mic closer so you guys can hear. Uh, what we got here? What old is this? Oh, God. And then it's... Well, I'm glad I opened it. Look, look at the corner. That big old stain right there. It's on several pages. I knew it was going to be nothing but crap, so... Why did I get it? I don't know. This is... Um, 1991, I guess. The Green Hornet, issue 6. Tech Jacket, number 9. I don't know. Image Comics. No idea. Another tech jacket, number six. Jimmy Robinson, Five Weapons, Tyler's Revenge. Um... Weird, no idea. Is it just me, or does it look like the chick is, like, backwards? It's will be facing that way, but the shirt's on backwards. I don't know. That's just freaky, man. The Mantle. My image, image comics. No idea. Retro Rocket, issue three. Yeah, it's not going to be anything I know. It's going to be a bunch of books that nobody wants. That's how you turn a profit. Blacklight, number zero, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. No idea. Uh, 
Common Grounds, number three, this is by Top Cow, it's got some stain on the cover, it's got a lot of stains all over the cover, unless that's part of the artwork, I could be wrong, um, the artwork is nice, hey look at that, huh. an ad in the back for Boulder's Gate Dark Alliance 2, back in the day baby, there you go. Allie Baggett is Alley Cat, number three. No idea. Then we got some Valiant here, Imperium, number three. Called Hazard number three. Apparently, all these are all issues number three. Apparently, I don't know. No idea about these independent books here. Top Cow Hunter Killer. Hunter Killer is a vintage Sylvester with Wade scripting A material. Could there be a better recipe for success? BrokenFrontier.com well, You can definitely tell that's uh, uh, Sylvester's uh, work in the back. I mean on the cover. Oh, it's in the back. And it gets what? Issue 3. What's with all the issue 3's here? Uh, issue 7, Telos. No idea. It's like a kid's comic book thing. I have no idea. Don't know anything about these books. Knew that going in. Bohos, number one. Four teenagers make their way through the strangest universe of all, ours. Okay. Whatever. I'll change the name from Bohos to Butthos. How about that? A comic book called Butthos. Leah Hernandez, Rumble Girl, Silky Warrior Tansy. It's all black and white on the inside. It's a weird front cover. This is issue one. Again, no idea. And we got... Oh, we did the littering on this. It's ridiculous. Blood... What word is that? God, it's like it's, it's written weird. Really? Blood Legacy? Blood Legacy. Look at the, the font on that thing. I don't know why I didn't see it right away, but it's so curvy and weird. That's issue one. Then we got issue four of a book called Talent. Oh, some dust in these books. Let me tell you, I'm making about to sneeze here. <laughs> oh, that's some high quality cover there. Uh, artwork on the inside, and um, yeah, it's called Talent, issue four. We're gonna be here a while, fellas. Extermination number seven from Boom Comics. This one's pretty neat up, but. Looks cool. Um, so 
I guess the name of the book is Cluster, but it's got a timer on it. Cluster. I don't know if it's 20 minutes or 2 minutes, or I'm assuming that's 20 minutes. Well, it's upside down. Well, that's the back of it. Hello, genius. There's the front, cluster number two. Again, no idea what that is. Hey, look at that, a Marvel book. Lucky me, it's beat up, uh, pretty beat up. Marvel Comics, Marvel 2-in-1, The Thing, and The Liberty Legion. And this guy with a swastika on his freaking uh, costume. All right. Over there. Swastika in the middle of his freaking suit. That one I'll set aside because it's Marvel. It's Marvel, baby. And hopefully Marvel gets his head out of its ass after they fired uh, Bob Iger. And they're, a bunch, they're doing a lot of firing. Get rid of a bunch of people with the vote wokeness. So hopefully they're coming back and actually reading the comic books. And actually getting writers who actually enjoy the comic books and know the characters. And put them on screen that were meant to be. That's what I look forward to. Not some random wokeness. Even though Rob disagrees with me on this one. You know, the whole morph being non-binary or whatever. It's just, you know, ridiculous. Uh, if he's non-binary, then doesn't that make Mystique non-binary also? I mean, it doesn't make any sense. So, no, I say no on that one. And then, uh, did a little bit more research, and I knew it was just the tip of the iceberg. Um, rumor has it, I'm not sure if it's Cyclops or Wolverine. One of them, it turns out to be gay now. Correct me if I'm wrong on that one, but, uh, that's what I saw on YouTube, and... Ah, hopefully they fix it all now. Hopefully they fix it up. Madam Web, don't even get me started on that piece of trash. Brain Banks. I don't know. Again, no idea. It's DC, but no idea. Uh, another Brain Banks. I'll try to go through this a little bit faster because it's taking up a long. Hey, oh, look at that. Hey, oh, it's got. Is that two? Or is that just one? Okay, it's one. With two different covers? Is that what's happening? I guess. It's in a bag, but no board. It's called Backlash Image Comics. No idea. Uh, next, this one's bag and boarded. Look at this. Boof and the uh, Bruise Crew. Image. No idea. Weird cartoon looking thing. Look at that. No idea. Uh, then we got Blue Ribbon Comics. Number three from Red Circle Comics Group. For the first time, the startling secret origin of Steel Sterling. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Is this one book? That's yeah, one book. Some cool artwork on the back there. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Ah, uh, here's the front. Um... Carlos Sal Saldana's Burrito Jack of All Trades. Okay. Got some really wacky comics in this freaking box. Uh, this is pretty beat up. Almagam, really? Amalgam uh, comics? Bullets and bracelets? Is this supposed to be Wonder Woman or something there? I don't know. Castle and... Yeah. Frank Castle and Diana together again. Uh, that's interesting. 
Never knew that series. Let's see, pretty uh, beat up as well. We'll just throw it on this pile. Um, Blood Wolf, number two. That's some really good artwork on the front. Look at that. Pretty cool. Uh, there we go. This is an image that I know. Stormwatch, number one. Strata. Renegade Press presents Strata. I want you, I don't know, issue five. This is a weird cartoony thing, comic. There's another one, Strata number three. Ooh, we got a shiny cover by Valiant, of course. Shadow Man number zero. Be worth that, would you look at that back? That core wood shininess on that thing. There's the front. I shall put this in this pile just because it's shiny. Why not? Now we got DC. Look, a bag and board. Holy crap, I'm surprised. Full length 30 page adventure green arrow versus black canary. Yeah, it's not looking too good for green arrow. That's kind of cool, but it's going on this pile. And then we got another one. Holy crap, I'm surprised. It's got a board and bag. Death Blow, number 23. Another image. I remember this character, actually. Go on there. Some more image. Death Blow, number 26. Backlash number 11. Oh, that artwork looks cool. I'm going too fast. Just pause the video. Stormwatch number 29. 29. Stormwatch number 30. Hunter Killer number zero. Hunter Killer number twelve. Remember when God of War was cool? I don't know if you guys know this, but the creator of God of War, this character here, Kratos. He liked them like this, and he wanted them to stay like this. He does not like the idea of, of Kratos becoming old, growing a beard, and having a child. He said that wasn't part of his creation, so he was pretty upset about it. What the heck is this? Genesis, Tom Mason's Dinosaurs for Hire. What the fuck? Number 10. That's another weird... Oh, and then on the back it's got... Dinosaurs for Hire, number 10. Parody Enhanced Cover. Parody Enhanced, so it's in parody of something. Something or other. There we go. I've seen this book before. Colin Bunn, Bone Parish, number 2. I've seen it before, never read it. We got another Valiant Shadow Man number forty-one.
Shadow Man number 40. Um, first comic limited series, number one of four. Alter Ego by Roy Thomas and Ron Harris. No idea. It looks interesting. I might just uh, put it in there. This pile. Uh, here's another one. Number three, Alter Ego. Put it over here in this pile. The Natural Inquirer by Professor Von Crabman. A catalog of legendary creatures from Bigfoot to the woolly trout. My goodness, it appears that I've stumbled into the trail of elusive Sasquatch. Another fine publication from Fanta Fantagraphics Books. That's funny. Looks like fun. Journey, number 26. Um... The Adventures of Wolverine McAllister. His name is Wolverine McAllister. Oh my goodness. Another one, Journey number 23. This is pretty good. The Adventures of Wolverine McAllister. Or McAllister. I don't know. McAllister or McAllister, however you want to pronounce it. Journey number 19. That just don't look right. I don't know what's happening on that picture. Sorry, I keep hitting the mic. Slate Skate number one. Hey dudes, tell your local skateboard shop about this comic. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's just bonkers. And then look at the look at the corner there. I don't know if you can see it. It's pretty mangled. But yeah, it's like I thought. It's a box of books of just stuff that nobody wants. Black Badge, number eight. Look like everything is made out of watercolors or something. I don't know. And I don't know. But that's supposed to be blood that's on their face. Uh, it's supposed to be blood. At least I'm assuming. Anyway, I don't know. Hunter Killer, number nine. Oh my God, look at this. Comedy Central. When booty calls, we've got your answer. Daily pickup lines delivered to your cell phone. Text the word booty to 22422 to subscribe. Zombie, if I said you had a beautiful body, would it be okay if I ate it? Pirate. They call me Peg Leg Joe, and I walk fine. Yar. Geek, you are more precious than dilithium crystals. <laughs> oh, dilithium crystals. I guess I'm a geek. Dilithium crystals is a fuel used in the um, in the Enterprise of Star Trek. Hunter Killer number seven. Hey. That could be the perfect finesse or fitness level, and actually looks like him a little bit of uh, Henry Cavill. Pretty crazy. Speaking of Henry Cavill, looks like he's going to be playing uh, Cyclops and the new X Men. That's going to be one buff motherfucking Cyclops. Hunter Killer number twelve. I think I already have this one. I think it's a duplicate. Yes. I think that's a duplicate. 
Shadow Man number 23. Okay. It's fucking weird, man. I never I never really read anything about Shadow Man. That just weird. It just gives me venom vibes. Head over heels, gray shirt, indigo sunset, number five. What kind of title is that? Weird shit in this box, man. Kurt Sutter's Lucas Lucas Stand by Boom, four of six. It seems like all the corners are, are fucked up. But, I mean, I don't know any of these books, so it doesn't really matter. What do we got here? Stormwatch, number 10. This is a good bag of board. The bag is as old as polygon bags can get. J.G. Jones and Mark Wade. Strange Fruit. Oh, that's lovely. Strange Future. Here's the cover. Oh, this is number two or four. I keep hitting the mic. Sorry about that. So there you go. And then I opened it up and I was like, wow, that's some, that's some like Alex Ross kind of vibes there. Check that out. Pretty cool artwork. Oh, I keep bumping that damn thing. That's pretty good. Who did the artwork on this? J.G. Jones. Damn good stuff. That's pretty cool. We're almost down to the bottom here. We're back. All new powers. Bendis and I mean number 10. So Bendis was on this. Every corner is fucked up. Every comic is fucked up. The Unsound, number two from Boom Studios. It's so weird. I don't know, it's weird. Uh, Bone Parish, number two again. Same book again. Same fucked up corner. Allison, Tryman, and Koger. Giant Days? I'm assuming that's what it says. Giant Days. Uh, the cartoony book, I don't know. Sombra. Sombra! Spanish for shadow or shade. It's all in Spanish. Dejiste que tenías un mensaje. You said that you had a message. That's what the uh, translation is anyway. There's no translation in there. I'm just saying that's what I know. Spanish comic book. There we go. The Spire. Number two. Oh, what the fuck is that? What the fuck? Okay, it's a weird little creature in the back, but let me show you the front. The spire, right? And then the back, that little thing freaked me out for a minute. Look at that. It's like farting and everything else. Oh, I can't pick it up. There it is. Stormwatch number five. Get in 
the mic. Keep hitting the mic. She's good at hitting the mic. Okay. And last one is another storm watch. Number seven. What's the original poly bag? Holy crap. There you go. And that's the last one. So there's a stack of books. No packaging, no no protection, no nothing. And like I said, I knew going in this that it was probably going to be a bunch of books that I didn't know. And it's probably going to be a bunch of books without bags and boards, which I also predicted. And it's probably going to be a bunch of crap that nobody wants, which I also predicted. Yet, I still went for it. Call me insane. And uh, look at that. I ended up with uh, one, two, three, only four books that I was interested in out of the whole stack. That's four. How many got here? This is a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six. It says 20. Another 20 there. And, uh, it's about 50 some books. Maybe 60 books all together. Um, but every book that I grab is a heavy book. So he got the thick books. He's got the books that are made out of certain material. So that's how he made his weight. Because it's supposed to be a 10 pound, you know, 10 pounds of, of books. So there you go. Trick of the trade, right? You could have just put it in bags and boards, and that would have added your weight, too. But I guess. Whatever. Anything to turn a buck nowadays. Uh, so that's that's what I got for you anyway. That's um, that's a dull meatball. It's not spicy at all. Anyways. If you didn't like it, then don't like it. Don't watch it. Whatever. I mean, it's just, you know, I'll put it in the title. I don't even know what I'm going to call this video. Bulk box of random books, I guess. Let's do that. My hair is just ridiculous. Oh, my God. Ah, all these gray hairs, all these white hairs, and then, I mean, like, gray hair and white hair ain't enough. No, you got to go bald, too. Why not? Ah, like I said, when it gets too hot, I'll shave it off. Anyways, thanks for stopping by. See you guys.